Okay, guys, we're back on the old head. Now we're going to do, uh, I did do a little bit of work on the inside port, uh, floated stock, and then I put a ton of epoxy in there. I think we're just going to talk about the outer. It did get another coat of epoxy. You can still has plenty of lumps and bumps and not smooth texture at all. You can see this is growing in height. I'm going to put a fin here and I think I'm going to try to put a fin here. Give it a little, a little bit of aerodynamics. Uh, the part that I did fill in, I put a lot of fill in this area because this part of the bowl was uh, quite bad as far as air speeds. This picked up nicely. This one's still pretty dead. And if I put a if I put my pito right around here, it still has an airspeed of zero. So, in the comments, you can let us know what that uh, airspeed of zero means on a port that's flowing 340 plus. Okay. And uh, let's flip this over. You can get a different look at it. I really haven't done anything to the short side. The short side is actually working pretty well the way it is is and I really haven't changed it much except for a little sanding. Okay the short side is exactly the way you saw it last time because I need the short side as big and wide as I possibly can make it. It's a six degree head. All the air wants to be on the short side. So in order to get your air speeds at a reasonable level it needs to be wide and I probably will at some point change the layback on it which will Completely changed the dynamics of the entire port, but I want to work on the bowl right now. The bowl is pretty much a wreck as far as air speeds. So we're going to shrink it up and we're going to get the air speeds a lot closer to where they need to be. And hopefully we don't lose too many CFM. And then we're going to start nibbling away gaining CFM, we hope. I was hoping to do this rapidly, but uh, probably not. This is a pretty involved little project. And uh, just mixing the epoxy and letting it sit for a day is, you know, takes some of my steam out. This is actually what I like to use. It's, uh, this should be the professional. Let me just check. Usually it says professional on it. Now, I didn't actually buy this. This was dropped off by a customer. But it's uh, it's plenty good enough for this one because this is never going to run. This is, is going to be uh, digitized and that's going to be about it for this head. So you can see it's just about time to buy some more and uh, move on. See if you can see the amount of aluminum I put into the epoxy. It really doesn't machine that much different than aluminum when you do it that way. Plus, it adds a lot of strength. And you use a little bit less epoxy. Okay, the owner has actually made up a nice air bell for this. And uh, I made him send it, so I should get that soon. That'll keep uh, the variations of the clay down to a minimum. As you can see, this really doesn't look great. It's all lumps and bumps and cavities. And it's still doing pretty well. We're gonna we're gonna show you the uh, the flows in a minute. As of right this minute, I am keeping that uh, fin in the bowl, pretty much the direction of the port itself. Okay, yeah, it's it could use some more work, but I'm definitely gonna have to put a little more epoxy on it to get it where I want it to be. So, right after I get off making this video with you guys, I'm gonna mix up a little epoxy and I think I'm going to put see if I can make enough to put a fin and I have to fill the side of the bowl and I have to work on that part of the fin okay I need to work on keeping my uh, inners and outers organized I know this was an outer okay so this is the last time you've seen this port I did the inside port. We're not going to talk about that right now. I guess we could. You know, you could compare it to the one I've already started to fill. Pretty darn close, right? Compared to the, the one that I filled 
the roof and part of the bowl. I believe the inside port didn't flow as well, but it made better power. So the numbers for this are here. It was completely dead inside the inside stock, completely dead at on the top. Um, very even on the roof, 52, 52. What do you think about 52 for a roof airspeed? Not great, right? And the short side really wasn't bad. Now, it, it's different shaped ports, so you can't really compare these numbers to the other ports. But that's it for that right now. Let's take a look at our outer. We, this is the second fill. Dead cylinder wall we filled, more than anything else. So we're comparing this row to this row. Let's do some pluses and minuses. Okay, not a total win. Loss, loss, loss. Plus, 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 plus. Then we start developing some noise and we start losing. All right, we're having trouble most likely with the short side at that point. Probably also has to do with the speed difference between the, the roof and the floor. Okay, we'll take a look at that in a second. We top out almost the same. 347, 344. 340, 338. It's a quite a bit smaller port. So, not a complete win, but I think we're heading in the right direction. I have to take the whole bench apart and fix my swirl meter, but I'm not really going to worry about the swirl on an engine this big because if you look back on the other, the older videos on this head from two years ago, it had a lot of swirl. And you notice I'm not doing any dicum at this point. I need to work on just what the air is doing as of this minute. Okay, so these numbers are the inside stock. This is filled dead spot outer. Uh, notice how much nicer our pinch is at this point. Okay, now these two are outer compared to our inner air speeds. I mean, yeah, our inner port air speeds quite a bit. Now, this was better than the last one we did, right? This is what it was last time. 172, it went to 183. 147 went to 200. We should compare these to these. 238, 228. 230, 218. 242, 220. Much more even, okay? Moving almost the identical amount of air. Okay, we can compare these short side speeds to these short side speeds. Now, since we shrank the port a little bit, you would expect more air to go around the short side. A little bit more here, down a touch here, down a touch there. Not bad, relatively close. This was even closer, but not terrible. So, what do we do next? We put some more epoxy in, we let it dry, we'll machine it and flow it tomorrow, hopefully. I keep thinking... Uh, this is the street head, right? And I keep getting different info on the street head. One day it's 6,500 RPM. The next day it's 7,500 RPM. And he showed me the intake. It's a tunnel ram, single dominator, and it starves the outer cylinders. So we had to do some work inside the manifold to make it feed the outer cylinders better. But it was interesting because he gave me a flange shot where it pretty much comes into this port dead straight. So that flat roof is really what we need. Good to know, right? We'll know more when we get, uh, we get the bell and we'll, we'll figure it out. All right, guys. I think I bored you enough for one day. Tuesday. Wow. Already. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.